I am Dr. Ashley Evans, the founder and author of The Ash Exchange. And I have been, I have not been doing the best with my weekly word of encouragement in terms of creating videos for those who have subscribed to my website, um, theashexchange.com. But um, recently this past week, um, the Lord has just have, had me meditating on his word. And so I was like, okay, let me hop on and share. So um, this should not be that long, but you never know because you know I get excited with the word of God. So um, first off, I really want to talk about how it has been very tiring for a lot of people lately, um, especially believers who desire to live for Christ wholeheartedly, who desire to obey him, who desire to walk in his teachings, and they have not seen the reaping of the good things, the good seeds that they've been sowing. And so um, God sent me to Galatians 6, 9, and I've been meditating on that where it says, let us not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. And so even in meditating on that scripture, I was also thinking about, okay, well, Lord, what will we reap? Um, I had a conversation over with a few people. You know, lately, a lot of people just have been dreamy, um, thinking back to the promises that God has, has told them, thinking back to things that God has put on their heart to create. And a lot of people have just grown tired. And so in that, you know, I was just, you know me, I just listened to the Lord. Um, play my worship music and um, I heard the words blessing and so I went to Carrie Jo she has a song that she did with her husband at Elevation um, Valentine campus and the song was called the blessing and when I was listening to it I was like wow God this song is so powerful and it really rejuvenated my spirit because a lot of times we well a lot of times people try to separate Old Testament from New Testament, you know, as if when Jesus came, it canceled everything that happened in the Old Testament, which is not true. Um, God is so gracious that, you know, the covenant that he made with us in the New Testament adds on to the blessings that he promised. And that by us being children of God, if we've recommitted our lives to Christ, we too can inherit the blessings. And so, um, even with that, I was listening and I like to know the scripture associated with the song. And so I went through a little hunt through the word to um, find out where the scriptures were coming from. And so um, the first part took me to Exodus 33, 14. And um, it was a word to Moses and it says, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Now that actually is a line in the um, song and so I'm actually going to be giving you the scripture but they're singing the scripture so if you're one of those people that likes to hear a song that's great but we know the power of actually physically reading the word of God and so it says my presence will go with you and I will give you rest and so even hearing that it was reassuring to me because a lot of times when you're working you're doing a lot of things that deal with people um, you're not seeing the fruit for the seeds that you've been planting. And so you're like, okay, God, you get a little tired, but it's like, God, but I love you so much. I'm not quitting on you. Cause you know, I've been in the world, there's nothing out there. So it's just me and you. So we're just gonna have to make this work. And thankfully he was so gracious and merciful enough to take me on this little hunt on his word to encourage me. And so he sent me an Exodus 33, 14. And that was a reminder that he is with me and that he is giving me rest. And so then I went to Numbers, number 6, 22 through 27. And it says, the Lord spoke to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. You should say to them, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. Now, in both cases, these are blessings from the Lord. Um, and although it was said to the Israelites, once again, as a child of God, 
we also receive these blessings. And so in that, I was just like, okay, God, you are protecting me because I work in education. And so there's a lot of stuff that takes place in education that um, most believers don't necessarily care to deal with. But I also recognize that God's strategic and he knows that he has properly placed me there. So therefore, there are things that have to be done that don't always feel good, okay? So needless to say, God covers me, he protects me. Um, there are a lot of things that happen that I see left and right, but um, it's amazing how he covers his own in the midst of darkness and when the enemy is attempting to throw a lot of attacks at, on people. Um, he is gracious to me. And honestly, receiving his grace, knowing that he's gracious to me, that is everything because I don't always have the right attitude. I don't always, I'm not walking around on 10 jolly like, yay, yeah, praise the Lord. Sometimes I'm like, I just want to be home, Lord. And um, God's like, let me show you some grace so that way you can um, overcome this. And that way you can stop murmuring, stop complaining. Um, and then he shows mercy because he does not give me the consequences that I deserve when I do murmur and complain. Um, and then it says, may the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. Now, um, favor is something that we don't deserve. And it's something that we really, we can't do anything for. Like, that's just a component of being a child of God and understanding that he loves us so much that he desires to pour his favor upon us. And the simple fact that he does that reminds me, calm down. Don't feel like a don't feel like you're defeated because something is not showing up the way that you thought it would show up. And then when it says give you peace, I'm all about peace. I'm all about protecting my peace. So I thank God for peace. Because ultimately, receiving his peace is everything in this season specifically. Um, because like I said before, when you're in certain environments, it is very easy to be frustrated, upset, and to begin to feel defeated. But thank God he allows me to have peace in the midst of the chaos to where I can keep going and keep moving forward to complete the task that he has for me. Now, the bulk of the song, The Blessing, came from Deuteronomy 28, one through 14. And I'm going to read through it, might pause and break down a few scriptures. Um, because honestly, this part, you know, I'm not, overly emotional but when it comes to worship look you will get some tears out of me and when I read this I was just like thank you God thank you because you didn't have to do this and the, the simple fact that he he chooses to bless those who obey him like it's it, it's amazing it just it took me back to Galatians 6 9 to remind me that to not grow weary to keep pushing to keep persevering to not give up to not be deceived by what I don't see, okay? So um, starting at verse one, it says, now if you faithfully obey the Lord your God and are careful to follow all his commands, I am giving you today, the Lord your God will put you far above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come and overtake you because you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Your offspring will be blessed and your land's produce and the offspring of your livestock, including the young of your herds and the newborn of your flocks. Your basket and kneading bowl will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will cause the enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will march out against you from one direction, but flee from you in seven directions. The Lord will grant you a blessing on your barns and on everything you do. He will bless you in the land the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people as he swore to you. If you obey the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all the peoples of the earth will see that you bear the Lord's name and they will stand in awe of you. The Lord will make you pro prosper abundantly with offspring. The offspring of your livestock and your land's produce in the land the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. 
The Lord will open for you his abundant storehouse, the sky, to give your land rain in its season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You will only move upward and never downward if you listen to the Lord your God's commands I am giving you today and, and are careful to follow them. Do not turn aside to the right or the left from all the things I am commanding you today and do not follow other gods to worship them. Now, yes, this comes with stipulations to honor and obey God and to not worship any other gods. And I know that is an area that is defeating a lot of believers today. A lot of people are being drawn away, but I just want to encourage those believers who are being faithful to God. Please do not give up, keep pressing, keep persevering, and keep moving towards what God has for you. I recognize that right now we don't see everything taking place. We don't see a lot of the fruit for the, for the seeds that we're sowing, for the labor that we're putting in. But meditating on these scriptures really did challenge me to think less about the end result and more about what God said would come, up, come from it. And when I say that, I mean a lot of times we do things and we want a now reaction. We want a now response. We want a now end result. And that's not always going to be the case. And so with that, I, I position myself to say, okay, God, I may not see this now, but I'm going to trust in what you said about me being obedient and doing what you asked me to do. I'm going to trust that there will be good fruit, many blessings that will be birthed from this. And even looking at this, I mean, it's so, it's, it's such a legacy minded blessing because when you think about it, we don't live for our, for ourselves. We live for future generations. We live for what God has already planned. Like we're really just catching up to what God has already planned. And so the simple fact that, you know, he's blessing not just me, he's blessing my children. He's blessing my children's children. He's blessing anything that I touch. He's protecting me from my enemies. He's showing me favor. Um, He's blessing things that I will own in the future. He's blessing everything that he has designated for me to receive out of being obedient to him. And so going back to Galatians 6, 9, I want you to be encouraged to not grow weary in well doing. And I need you to recognize that being for Christ, living for Christ is not easy. Um, it was never meant to be easy, but we have someone that we can look towards, and that's Jesus, who experienced every negative element of being a Christian and who was persecuted and killed for us. And so knowing that he did that for us shows me that, you know, I can overcome this. He went through this, and he, had, he gives us the strength. He gives us the grace. He gives us the mercy. He gives us the... Um, he gives us the instruction on how to overcome these things. And so please don't be discouraged. Please keep moving forward. Please continue to evangelize to your fellow um, brothers and sisters and to encourage people to really take the time to reflect on God's word, to reflect on what God has said. Because a lot of times, yes, we read the word and we get all these instructions, but the word is also here to encourage us. The word is to help us to feel, to understand that what we're going through is not anything new and that we're not alone, alone going through it. And I encourage you, I know everybody's virtual and whatnot, please find a community so you're not isolated and doing things on your own. Um, that is a dangerous place to be because in isolation, the enemy starts talking to us and he that's where he's drawing away a lot of believers right now. So um, I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Um, as I said before, this was encouraging to me. I will put the song in the link in the description on my YouTube channel. 
so that way you can actually go back and listen to it and honestly it's been on repeat for me because it really is just me declaring those blessings that God has graciously given to us and it's amazing the simple fact that it's not just for us but it's for our legacy it's for our children's children and so um you know word to the singles you may be like i'm not even married what am i praying for my children look if you desire to be married you need to and you desire to have children whether adopted or coming from your womb you need to be praying in advance because god is very intentional you and your spouse that's not just for you know the butterflies and stuff god knows exactly what he needs to be birthed from you and so please begin to pray begin to speak these blessings over your womb over your future children over their children because the reality is god is strategic and he knows he knows how powerful he has created us to be and he knows that he is going to utilize us our children, our children's children, to do some phenomenal things for the kingdom. So, yes, that's my word of encouragement. Um, it, I know it's a little bit longer than I expected, but please, if you have questions, if you have prayer requests, if you have comments, if you want to um, expound upon this, and you just, if you just have a praise report, um, please share. All right, uh, you know I'm not overly formal or whatnot with these videos but um ultimately i do pray that they bless you and that you feel strengthened and normally i do pray at the end but honestly if you read these scriptures that is the prayer if you meditate on that song that is the prayer that i am praying over you because i just recognize how powerful it is declaring those blessings over our lives and it just reminded me just how loving our father is and how much he cares for us and how much he desires to do for us, okay? So please share this with someone else who may be having a hard time, even if they're not. Just share it with them so it can be a friendly reminder of um, the blessings that God has in store for us. All right, so be blessed. Have an amazing week. I probably will make another video, um, maybe for Thanksgiving. I don't know. But um, I, I move as the Holy Spirit leads me to. So God bless you all. Please enjoy yourselves. If you are on break, enjoy it. If you're not, please be gracious and show gratitude as leading up to Thanksgiving because there's a lot we have to be thankful for, especially for those of us, especially for us who are alive. I mean, that's just a reality. Everyone did not is not going to make it out of 2020. Um, so for those of us who are alive, thank God for life. Thank God for protecting us. For those of us who have shelter, for those of us who have food, who those of us who can pay our bills, who have family members that are healthy, just thank God. There's always something to be grateful for. And, um, gratitude honestly is the way to be in this season. And it will encourage you to show thanks to someone else. All right. So God bless you all. Bye.